Everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at the new update and what it could possibly add to the game. So I'm just going off what I know already. Oh, well, what most of us, most of us know the same stuff already. But um, so some new things coming. We are supposed to be getting some new fusions, some new slipstreams, and some. Oh yeah, superstitions. That's the main part of the update. And my rebirth price is also an OVG now. I still I still I still skip twenty though, so it's fine. It is day number one hundred and eighty three of not having a Stardust Pulsar. Um Yep. So, that is still prominent. Also, I tried playing on mobile. And, uh, no. So, but yeah, so with the new update, um, let me just, let's, let me just check out. So, let's see here. So, we should be getting, okay, so with tiers, first of all, superstitions is gonna be right below enchanteds and above slipstreams by this little picture I'm looking at which is like cool okay so some of the new fusions we have Nova Star and, Star and Stardust Pulsar I don't have a Stardust Pulsar uh, Ambrosia Fountain and Sakura Garden and Crystallized System with something fire related Apparently. In order to get superstitions, you need to be second sacrifice. Um, and advanced fusions are going to be a thing, so you need to be second sacrifice for those. Um, so yeah, we're getting new slipstreams. Those are nice. We're getting new advanced reborns. I'm looking at the Evo. I see one for um, the Timeless. What is it called? The I see an Evo for this. I see one for the Virtual Enhancer, and I don't know what the last one's for. It looked like it. It looks like it might be for the Arcane Lightning, but I don't know. Uh, Craftsman is getting like Evolution, Fusion, Enchant, Salvage, Reborn Shop. All sorts of stuff, and then looking at some of these, um, looking at some of these, what do you call them? You call them superstitions, superstitions, and then um, the Uh, and then Gargantua Mines will react differently with Pulsars, and then there's also a Gargantua Core, which looks like a uh, furnace. So yeah, there's a lot of new stuff coming in. And apparently, let me just get my teleporter, because I have this really cool setup that doesn't need to, uh, need to uh, do anything. Uh, so this guy, he's going to get like a bunch of stuff to do. Also, with Book of Knowledge, I have everything for this. Like, literally everything. Except for the three dream catchers, which I have none of. Because I don't like just opening boxes for uh, what I would call no reason when there's no, like, new exotics out. So I need to wait for a new exotic to come out and then open all my boxes. So then I have a reason to. And then hope that I get three dream catchers. And then with Void Drive, um, so I have all of this stuff, except for the crystallized engines, I need two more, and the Void Star, I need uh, one more, and yeah, I have everything else. Those are the two main things I need, this is apparently bad, which after seeing how it acts, yeah, I think it's bad. I do want this. I have everything except for the um, 
I need I could make another ancient coliseum. I need to make two final eclipse gates. And I need to make more astral setters, but I have the stuff to do that. I just need more neutron stars. But uh, yeah. So for all these evolutions, I'm mainly missing just one or two items. So Oh, yeah. I can rebirth. That's how that's going. I said evolutions. These are enchanted items. That's how that's going. Wait, well, yeah, the new update looks like it's going to be cool. And I think the reason that New Heights was good, too, is because um, when it came out, if you didn't want to use New Heights, y you didn't have to. But I think that you are going to kind of have to use this update. Still no Stardust Pulsar. Because it looks like like rebirthing and enchanting and stuff is still being done there. But yeah, if you didn't like New Heights, you didn't have to use it. You could have just kept your normal setup. You might have to make slight changes, but nothing major. Where with this, you know, there's going to be all different rebirthing strategies. But that's good. Change is good, so... Um, yeah, even after I get the Book of Knowledge, I'm not going to use it in this setup, because I don't need to. This is plenty fine. But Book of Knowledge is smaller, and I could just tower up here a bunch of, like, books and stuff, and then maybe make another tower, like, over here or something, to get it to at least 80,000, I mean, like, maybe, like, I don't know. A certain amount of times that would be good. Higher than 45,000 times, which is what this is at. Also, let's see how this goes, because we're at max or limit. Maybe some of them will die. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. New update soon, I think. Maybe. And yeah. Um. Also the door under the map with the stars, that's going to open up Third Sacrifice. I think. I don't know if Third Sacrifice is coming in this update or not, but whatever. 